All right, Reese right here, of course, Radio One representing for all of our brands, but we have the man who will transform this stadium in about three months, or less than three months. We have Rich Clark, Executive Director of the College Football Playoff. First of all, congratulations on the job. Thank you, Reese. You Absolutely. know, I'm, I'm happy to be here. Honored to be here. <laughs> We're happy to have you here. And why are you here? Why are we in Atlanta right now talking about the new expanded college football playoff as well as the championship game? Well, we are excited to bring this championship this year to Atlanta because 2025 is going to be big. It is the first championship of the new 12-team format. The country is excited about it. And to bring it here because you've done it before, you've done so many great events uh, here in Atlanta, but you're the only city that's done the, ch the college football playoff championship twice. So this is the right place to do it, and we're just excited to have it here. All right, we're hitting the ground running here. Like I said, we're almost three months away. Mm -hmm. let's, ask, let's ask Rich Clark three things about the CFP this year. So one thing that people don't know about, you guys not only take care of the players, but you take care of teachers in a unique way. Can you tell me about that? Absolutely. So we have a, a college football playoff foundation, and our mission is to support teachers. And we've been doing it for 10 years, $80 million that we've been able to give back to teachers, to schools for makeovers, just so that they have the resources and the support that they need to help raise up these great students that they get to uh, care for. And uh, we're very proud of that. And we're going to do that right here in Atlanta. Um, not just in Atlanta, though. We're going to go across the whole state of Georgia this year. It. For the first time, we're going to cover the whole state and really be able to give back to the teachers that give so much to us. And it's uh, a part of this that makes me proud. I know you also <laughs> have parents who are teachers. I do. And uh, we've all had teachers that have touched our lives. So it's a great part of the college football playoff. I love the tie-in because every single student athlete has gone Absolutely. through a middle school or elementary school and have, teachers have touched and, and gave them. So I, I love that CFP is giving back to the teachers. And, and we are, we're very proud of that. So cool. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Number two, we got to ask, Atlanta is the home of entertainment. What can we expect for that weekend? I know it's going to be some stuff going on. Well, it's going to be big. Mm -hmm. So it's not just the game, although just the game is uh, probably not the way to put it because that's the main, the main attraction, the main reason that mm -hmm. we're here. But we're also going to have a concert in State Farm Arena. Mm -hmm. We're going to have 5K, 10K runs. We're going to have a taste of the championship where there's going to be lots of food and some of your... Uh, amazing chefs that are going to be able to present their uh, their skills. We're going to have Fan Central downtown where people can come see some of the behind the scenes things that go on with the college football playoff. So it's going to be really a celebration of college football. But even if a, a fan can't get into the, the uh -huh. stadium for the game, right. they can still have a touch point. Come see what's going on mm -hmm. and then go home and watch the game on TV and be a part of the celebration. It's something for every single person. And you guys do an incredible job with everything when it comes down to security detail, to making sure people are able to get in and out of the city the correct way, to get to the games, to get to all of these things. And I know those things will be laid out for here in Atlanta. But I also want to ask on part three, when you're talking about the inf influx of money just coming to the mm -hmm. city, just like in Houston, you guys helped them raise over $200 million for coming to that city with the championship game. What can we expect here in Atlanta on that front? Well, I think it'll be very similar. It's hard to say how much, mm -hmm. but what I can say, it's going to be a lot. A lot. I mean, <laughs> We're talking <laughs> hundreds of millions of dollars of influx of funds because people are going to be here. Mm -hmm. They're going to be taking part in the celebrations, staying in the hotels, eating at the restaurants, Uber. I mean, everything <laughs> that goes into it. People are going to be spending money to enjoy this amazing celebration in this amazing city. So uh, it's, it's a win-win for us because we love bringing our game here. We've done it before, and you made it spectacular, and I feel like you love having us here. We so, do. We do. So this is good. <laughs> this is win-win for everybody. And that's our three things with Rich Clark. Last thing, though, I have a bonus question. Oh. With your background, of course, military, mm -hmm. you jumped into this thing. You got everything working, nuts and bolts, and just, just crossing every T, dotting every I. But how fun would a boot camp would have been in a stadium like this where you guys are about to throw the CFP? Oh, man. I, <laughs> you know what? That, that is the, the total connection of military <laughs> and football. Uh, you know, there, there is a lot of similarities, all right? You know, the discipline that you have to have, the physical aspects, all that uh, that goes into football also goes into the military. Mm -hmm. But I tell you what, 
I like talking about football <laughs> a lot more. And I'm, I'm just excited for this game and the whole playoff series. Mm -hmm. So um, it's pretty cool. But, you know, boot camp on a football field would be pretty <laughs> fun, right? You right? want to run a 40 right now? Uh, I might pull a hamstring. Okay. I I'm, <laughs> I I'm old, say, man. I didn't, I didn't stretch my ankles <laughs> this morning, too. So, yeah. Hey, thank you. We appreciate it. Appreciate I think this you, is going to be great, man. Right, and and you. just your inspiration to many. So, I wanted to make sure we sat down and talked to you. We stood up and talked to you for a little bit. Thank on you, On the sir. field that you're about to transform. I'm excited. I'm excited. Thank you. Yeah, Thanks yeah. for having me. Sure. Yes, sir.